Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, please subscribe if you wish and hit the like button if you wish and if not that's okay. You're welcome to come back anytime. Uh, Russia has banned comedian Jim Carrey and other Canadians for their activism against the invasion of Ukraine by President Valdemar Putin. Others banned from entering the country included the author of The Handmaid's Tale Margaret Atwood and other well-known ca Canadian politicians, business people, and celebrities. Much like politicians uh, in the United States, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Tr Trudeau, Trudeau has offered substantial financial assistance to Ukraine. The Canadian government reportedly sent another $500 million in military aid to Ukraine as it added 23 Russians to Canada's own ban list. The Russian uh, Ministry of the Foreign Affairs charged that 100 Canadians were directly involved in the formation of an aggressive anti-Russian course in a statement about the sanction. About the sanction. In response to the ongoing practice of imposing sanctions by the regime of Prime Minister Jay Trudeau against the Russian leadership, Politicians and parliamentarians, representatives of the business community, experts and journalists, cultural figures, as well as anyone whom the Canadian uh, Russophobic authorities considered object objectionable, read the statement. Entry is closed on the basis of reciprocity. Reciprocity for 100 Canadian citizens. Kerry himself endorsed a Russian political opposition figure back in April. In Daniel Roher's doc, Navalny, and that's N-A-V-A-L-N-Y, Navalny, and that is Daniel Roher, R-O-H-E-R, apostrophe S, doc, Navalny, oh, one brave man and his family stand up against intolerable evil, he wrote online. Navalny himself exposed a Cesar Putin and his soulless minions, minions in their fetish, fetish conspiracy to poison him, Ooh, suppress the truth, and intimidate the Russian people. Well, that's not good. United States officials have reportedly encouraged Zelensky to negotiate peace terms with Russia, but the Ukrainian president appears unwilling to agree upon terms that involve making land concessions. Per Axios, A X I O S, Axios, Russian President Volodymyr Putin has refused to entertain agreements that do not involve Ukraine giving up at least some land. Boy. As per usual, recent mainstream media reports have claimed that Russia is losing badly yet again. And with a recent ABC headline reading, Russia orders troops to retreat from key city. There is a video on this article, but I can't play it. Kerry and his gang of Canadian friends are not the only North Americans facing Russia sanctions. Other figures reportedly banned by the Kremlin include American actors Usain Penn and Ben Stiller. S-E-A-N, Shen Penn and Ben Stiller. My goodness. Hmm. Huh. My goodness. Well, I don't know what this one is. San Francisco sheriffs say someone posed as federal agent to visit alleged Pelosi assailant in jail. Well, that's not very good either, is it? The San Francisco Sheriff's Department says an unidentified individual posed as a U.S. Customs agent to visit David de Pape in jail. He's the one that attacked Mr. Pelosi. And there's a video on here, but I can't put it. Paul Pelosi's attacker 
arraignment remains in custody after November 1st court appearance where he pled not guilty to 10 local charges including attempted homicide, first degree burglary, and assault with a deadly weapon. Local authorities say the man, who was ultimately denied access, pretended to be a U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement agent, adding that he had no credentials other than a business card. The Sheriff's Department refused the New York Post request for comment and additional information, including the current whereabouts of the mystery man. The 42-year-old de Pape was indicted by a federal grand jury on Wednesday for allegedly breaking into the San Francisco residence and brutally beating Pelosi with a hammer. Pelosi suffered multiple facial wounds and underwent successful surgery to repair a fractured skull. Oh my goodness. And Nancy Pelosi, seen leaving San Francisco house days after David DePape allegedly attacked her husband. And I do understand, um, well, I'll get to that in a minute. Friends and associates, associates described DePape as mentally ill and detached from reality. He was afraid to communicate with people and his only kind of mode of being in the world was via computer, said former friend, Linda Schneider. He wouldn't even go get a bank account. It was so shocking. He was terrified to even face the teller. My goodness sakes. But um, I understand, and uh, I didn't look up an article for it, but uh, uh, Pelosi, I guess, is going to retire. And she's going to keep her seat, but she's not going to get involved in the decisions that will be made, I guess, is from just shortcutting it a little bit. Uh, I will try to look up some articles, and um, my goodness, I'll tell you what, I just don't understand. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm happy that he's going to be okay, and... Um, It could have been a lot worse. Thank God it wasn't. See you later. Give somebody a blessing.